Hey everybody, welcome back. Jay Barino here, continuing StarCraft Mass Recall, the StarCraft Brood War Remake, and StarCraft II, continuing the fall, the Protoss campaign, Into the Flames. The beginning of the Protoss campaign, I remember being pretty challenging. This mission was pretty tough, is pretty tough, I should say, and Mission 3 is pretty tough, if I remember. Mission 3 particularly gave me a really hard time last time I played it. The enemy attacks were very large, and then this one as well. Uh, pretty tricky, especially near the end. Into the Flames, Citadel of the New Protoss Executor, the following night. Antaro Adun, Executor. Your defense of Antioch has restored my faith in the Templar caste. I admit that Tassadar's desertion had shaken my faith. Indeed, Alvarez. I would hope that the Judicator would put more faith in their Templar brethren. Tassadar, where have you been? Be silent, Judicator. There is no time to waste, but I have much to tell you. As you know, the Zerg vanished after the fall of the Terran world of Tarsonis. And though the Conclave bid me return home, I was compelled to remain. A powerful psionic call drew my attention to a remote barren world named Char. Apparently, the call was answered by others as well. For upon Char, I encountered those who were once our brethren. The Dark Templar. Consorting with the Fallen Ones is heresy. Enough! Hear me, Executor. For I have learned much from the Dark Templar prelate, Zeratul. The Overmind controls its minions through agents called Cerebrates. Strike down the Cerebrates. And the swarms will surely fall. Executor, Tassadar may be right. If you can keep the Zerg occupied, my force may be able to penetrate their perimeter and slay the abomination. I pray we can trust you, Tassadar. Already I can sense the taint of the Fallen One's influence on your mind. You must return to Ayr at once. My concern is for the safety of Ayr, not the judgments of the Conclave. I will return when the time is right. All right, Tass, now you're leaving out a really crucial piece of information here that we're all going to suffer for later. Distract the Zerg while Phoenix gets into position. Kill the Zerg Cerebrate. Phoenix must survive. Did Tassadar know at this point the importance of the Dark Templar being involved in killing Cerebrates? I feel like he knew this. Velrog Broodhive Cluster, Ire. Or maybe it was just a coincidence that Zeratul was the one that killed Zaz. I'm really not sure. Alrighty, so for the most part, we really just have to defend ourselves at the beginning of this map, which is uh, easier said than done. We now have shield batteries, which is wonderful. Build a shield battery to recharge your unit shields. Very helpful tip there, so let's just go ahead and get, uh, get building. So I'm just going to make a lot of Zealot's Dragoons. The only difference in this mission that, uh, over mission one is that we can make shield batteries, and there's a giant Zerg base pretty much on the entire right side and bottom right side of the map. And we will want to try to destroy it later, but the goal is to get to the Cerebrate, which is nested, nested as far into that base as possible. The, the idea is once this 15-minute uh, this, this timer completes, then uh, Phoenix will show up with a bunch of units, including some Reavers, and then we have to make sure we have enough money stockpiled to build Scarabs in those Reavers, or replenish the Scarabs in those Reavers, and then destroy the production while bypassing the main Zerg defense. We're still going to use our army to push into that Zerg defense, but for now... Uh, that will not be the case. So there's two entrances into our base. Got some random Zerglings up here. By killing these, I just expect them to be replaced, but let's just move on over here. And I'm going to want to get a forge as soon as possible. I want to get that plus one weapons and armor very, very quickly. Now, there's also an expansion to take, and it's in the bottom left. And I think I'm actually going to try to take it before the timer runs out. Normally... Uh, I end up having to take it anyway because I run out of money here to replenish my scarabs and to continue pushing into the Zerg base, and it really makes it challenging uh, to complete the map. It's very, very annoying, honestly. So let's go ahead and set up some cannons up here. We're going to need one or two at the top of our base as well because there is a ramp up here, but I don't think the Zerg necessarily attack us directly from that direction. Let's go ahead and get a second, a second, a fifth Zealot. Yeah, so as you can see, these Zerglings are getting... Are getting rebuilt. That's about what I expected. We can actually get some shield batteries sooner rather than later. And actually, I'm I am going to get at least one. I think they can now heal 
cannons, but I'm not sure about that. Let's go ahead and throw down a forge. Someone left a comment saying they can now heal cannons. But again, I'm not 100% sure that that is the case. We will find out. They are on autocast. There were some di there were some major differences, I should say, between... Okay, pretty large attack. There are some major differences between uh, shield batteries in StarCraft 1 and in Mass Recall, and then subsequently with, uh, with the Legacy of the Void shield batteries. Very, very, very large differences. So, obviously, if you've played Legacy of the Void, you would know that uh, main difference there is that they... Are, are, they are auto-casted, they can heal your units, they don't stun your units, and they can heal buildings. Now, in the original Mass Recall that I played, not the original, but version 5 when I played it, uh, they were different in the sense that they, they were auto-cast, because that's new. In StarCraft 1, they were not auto-cast. You, right you could hit R, the hotkey for recharge shields, and, and click on the ground, and that was useful. But other than that, they did not just work uh, unless you told them to. Also, yeah, so they weren't auto-cast, and they actually stunned the unit when... They actually completely stunned the unit when they were uh, targeting something. So let's check this out. Select a unit. Okay, use recharge auto-casting to recharge all of your units in the shield battery area. So do we have to turn that on, or is it always... It's already on auto-cast. Let's check this out. Okay, so we're not stunned. We're not stunned. One big thing I remember is that you could have multiple shield ba batteries healing the same unit. I believe that's been completely changed. Which is definitely for the better, because that just makes no sense. Uh, I think it was considered a bug back when I played the first time. Okay, so let's go ahead and just keep making probes. We're going to want to get a lot of cannons up here. Not so many that we can't uh, build more units, but we're going to need a lot of cannons and a lot of zealots and dragoons. I mean, I don't know what else I would build in this mission, so we're just going to get more... I'm going to go ahead and get more cannons and get more shield batteries. I'm going to get a shield battery right here. Get more cannons on the edge, sort of on the edge. Another one there. Okay, and I don't want to go overboard with cannons. I think four is probably more than enough. And I'll get even another shield battery as well when we can afford it. Then I'm just going to start making units. You can see, so these uh, these attacks get very, very large. It is working on the uh, the photon cannon. That's actually really interesting and really helpful. This uh, This cannon would have been killed if that was not working the way it was working. So I definitely want to get more shield batteries, because shield batteries seem very awesome. <laughs> very, very awesome. I'm going to get one right here, too. Get another cannon further up as well. Okay, so that's great. And uh, let's just... I think this is saturated enough right now. I might want to get even one more, but for, for now, I think I should focus on units. Looks like I can... When I box like this, I end up grabbing all of the shield batteries. Ah... Uh, I'm not thrilled with that. That needs to be fixed, because when I box, I should only be getting my units. No, wait. That is working. If you do a big box, it's just the units. If you do a go like this, then you get the cannons and the batteries. Never mind. Nothing is wrong. I thought that was a, I thought that was a major problem. It is definitely not. Let's go ahead and get weapons level 1 and get a cybernetics core. So my, my goal is to take a small force with one probe to come down here and take this base. Now, the issue is that... Are they attacking me up here? I don't think so. The issue is that if I get one cannon up here. If I go down there and I don't bring units with me, then the enemy's just going to rebuild the, the... There's a couple Zerglings and maybe a Hydralisk down there, and the issue is if I if I go undefended, then they're just going to reinforce that, and they're going to retake that area, and it's going to be a big waste of my time and, and units. So I just want to make sure that I am ready to go. I do need... I do need more cannons here, though. Without a doubt. I mean, this one is in danger of going down at all times, but that's not a big deal. I just... Wanna, as long as I have the time for the energy to come back and my shield batteries are in very, very good shape. You have not enough minerals. Okay, so these are the Zerglings that they keep reinforcing with. Not a big deal. Getting one more cannon here might be worth it. I think, though, instead I'm just going to be getting a lot of units. And how, man, how much do I really need to go down there? I think there's a couple Zerglings and maybe two Hydralisks, which is a little risky. We do have six and a half minutes. Let's get two dragoons. Actually, pylons. We're definitely. I mean, we're gonna get majorly supply blocked once Phoenix shows up as well. So we need to stockpile some money. Okay, and no more of these defenses. I mean, the I'm okay with the shield batteries because I can always retreat to them. But for right now, I think I just need a couple units. Let's just wait for this pylon to finish. We're gonna get some dragoons. Really, just a lot of dragoons. I think is the right choice. Okay, and this is all we can really do right now. Let's back up, lure them into the cannons. Yeah, we've got to try to keep some of these units alive. 
One cannon going down, not a big deal. It seems like the healing rate on buildings is quite slow, though, so maybe that's the compensation there. Let's go ahead and rebuild this cannon. Come on back. We need dragoons and zealots, and we're going to move out. I think what I'm going to do is go with this group. We're going to rebuild the units at home. Okay, and let's see if we can sneak by. We don't want to. We don't want to attack the Zerg area. They're right here. We we just want to avoid them completely. This is good. Okay, perfect. And then we're gonna walk up here. Minus the probe. These units are gonna remain here. We're gonna move in and take this space. Okay, it's three Zerglings and one Hydralis. So they are going to re. They are going to definitely uh, send these units back in at me, so I do have to be prepared for that. So let's go ahead and set up this Nexus, as long as we keep our Dragoons and Zealots up here. Because they're going to just resend that, this stuff. As long as we stay up here, then we're fine. I do not expect them to come down here, I expect them to just keep attacking my main base. So I think we'll be fine. I really do think we'll be fine. Let's get more Zealots. We can transfer probes eventually. But for right now, we, I don't think I can really risk it. Let's go ahead and get ground armor. We're going to need, definitely need more pylons. Specifically for when the Zerg come and uh, try to attack us. And when Phoenix shows up. Primarily when Phoenix shows up. Not when the, when, not when, not really when the Zerg come and attack us. So this finishing is going to be awesome. And the fact that I was able to take that in advance is a big deal. And again, I think I'm just going to get maybe two or three more pylons. I should get another one over here just in case I have kind of an artosis pylon going on right now. Okay, this is good. Got the, about the, the right amount of units right now. They're just sending overlords over in this direction. That's fine. That's larva that they're using to build that stuff, and the larva they're using to send zerglings up in this direction. That they're not using to currently attack me. That's a big deal, actually. Okay, let's get more dragoons, I think. Cool. And now we have minerals here. And I'm going to start saturating this, and I'd like to transfer some units, though... I don't know when the Zerg are coming to attack me next, and I... You know what, I'll quick save and then I'll try. I think I'll quick save and then I'm gonna try to run some drones over. So like four drones, that should be good, five drones. I think this is, if I can make it over with this amount, that would be really, really nice. It's just, if they come and attack me right now, I'm screwed. Let's see if we can make it. Let's just right click right here and see. Yup, that was the worst timing. That was the, okay, we're gonna reload the quick save. That was just the, the worst possible timing. I knew it was gonna happen. I was completely prepared for that to happen exactly the way it did. Okay, so after that, after this attack happens, we will be, we will be ready. Hopefully these, uh, these Dragoons finish in time. I'm also going to maybe queue up. Nah, I'm not gonna queue anything up. I'm just gonna wait, queue up some probes, and then maybe we'll grab shields level one when we can. Shields, shield upgrades are absurdly expensive in StarCraft 1. 200, 200, 300, 300, 400, 400 is ridiculous. We'll go ahead and queue it up now. All right, here they come. Let's get in there. Okay, one cannon already going down. We, the cannons need to focus on the Mutalus, so they're doing fine. We're going to lose some Zealots here. The shield recharge rate seems seems actually pretty normal. I was going to say it seems lower, but it's not. I would say it's, it's about as, uh, as fast as you could expect it. Okay, so this group... Let's just go ahead and right click down here. They should transfer. And then that's the income that we're going to need. That's the income that we're eventually gonna need specifically with uh, specifically with the Reavers because we're gonna need major income to replenish the Scarabs on the Reavers. That's really the only major thing. And then I'd also like to start Singularity Charge. No advanced structures means no Citadel of a Dune, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and try to get Singularity Charge started before Phoenix arrives. Okay, all my probes have made it. Now we've got the income we need to support ourselves as as Phoenix comes in, and we will be ready to go. So we've got dr more Dragoons and Zealots coming up. I think the Zerg continue to attack my base when Phoenix shows up. It is a bit of a micro-fest once Phoenix shows up, but now that we have this income, we're in very good shape. We don't have to worry about this these units down here anymore. We can link up. We have a nice, a nice force right here ready to push in, but it's just a lot of sunken colonies. All right, here we go. Fuck that Reaver. It's my Reaver. I still hate it. Executor, we are in position. I await your orders. It looks like they remade the area where the 
the cutscene with Phoenix is right here. The cutscene right after this. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so as you can see, we have a lot of stuff. Let's go ahead and turn these on. Auto build? What's happened here? Why is only one of them... Oh, none of them have to build scarabs because they're full, I think? I'm not I'm not sure. They don't appear full right here. Oh, that maybe that's just them queuing up to build something, so right now they're not. Okay, so like I said, supply being an immediate issue. Let's go ahead and do this. And I'm going to quick save because this section can be a little dicey. I am going to hotkey them. And we're going to move up with my units directly behind them because there's going to be a bunch of mutalisks. So we've distracted the Zerg while Phoenix gets into position, no problem. We're going to move back a little bit. And actually, I'm going to start attacking. We're going to keep the Zealots sort of in the back. Specifically Phoenix. All right, back him up. Okay, Reaver's doing great. It looks like they're on autocast right now. And then these Zealots just need to not die. Okay, this is great. It looks like their base just emptied out because they came to attack me. So what this means is I'm going to move down with these units. I'm going to move down with these units, and we're going to attack into their major sunken colony area. So go ahead, and let's let's just destroy their production. They won't be able to reinforce this. There's going to be a lot of stuff down here. So we're going to distract them from this angle, and we're going to make more zealots. That's too many zealots. Zealots and dragoons. Okay, this is good while we just continue to attack into their production. So this is exactly what needs to happen. Try to keep the Dragoons alive. We've got these guys on autocast, and I think that's fine. That's right, kill the eggs. Okay, and kill the sunken colonies. Where's Phoenix? He's fine. He's killing drones. Good work, buddy. All right, and again, it's really about having the money to reinforce to reinforce your scarabs. As long as I can keep making scarabs, I'm in really good shape. I've gotten rid of the sunk I've gotten rid of the uh, the spawning pool. That's huge. Okay, back up with this stuff. And this is going great. Create scarabs does not have a price tag on it, but I know it costs money. We're see we're seeing the money tick down. Okay. And that is the majority of their production, I believe. Let's just go ahead and kill this egg. Then we're going to start taking out the sunken colonies. Upgrade complete. Okay, looking good. And it looks like they don't overkill. I expected all three of them to shoot an extra scarab there. But again, you can see how this strategy works. And in my previous playthrough, this ended up being really close because I simply just did not have the money to reinforce these scarabs. Yeah, and there's no mineral cost on the scarabs. At least it doesn't appear to be one, but there definitely is one. Okay, and then let's also let's go ahead and clear out this area because what I want to do is allow my other units to make it through. We want to get all these dragoons moved up and ready to support me because it's just breaking our way through more sunken colonies. And if we can get away with not having to use reavers shots completely every time, I'm okay with that. There shouldn't be any other units on the map. It's just a bunch of sunken colonies really right here. Ooh, that was a that was a big hit. Okay, and the issue with Reavers is you're spending money with every shot they take. Uh, I feel that it's unfair when the AI has Reavers because they don't care about resources. The entire balance of Reavers is centered around the fact that you're spending money with every shot they take. That's why that is my specific reason for really hating Reavers. And I feel like just to be fair, I hate it even when I can have them. But don't get me wrong, I'll be making Reavers in the future. I definitely will. Okay, and here we go. We're going to start moving in. There's some random units up there, but I don't care about them. Now we just have to make our way there. Be careful with Phoenix. He can still die. There's a lot of sunken colonies down here. I could do a really slow crawl towards the Cerebrate, but we've definitely won. This has gone fine. Uh, again, this map can be very tricky if you don't take this base because, as you can see, I've been out of money up here for a long time. All right, Phoenix is fine. Yeah, he can move up now. There's the Cerebrate. I like the above-ground Cerebrate model. Not the portrait, but the actual model. This is really cool. I assume this is with the retro model. Looks really, really good. Looks like they used to. Just worms. All right, Cerebrate goes down temporarily. I will remain behind and observe the effects of our attack. Return to the Citadel. I shall notify you when the brood becomes erratic. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I'm so sorry. Yeah. 
Okay, let's go ahead and quit, and then we can watch the cinematic. I think if I hit continue, it'll play the cinematic and then immediately go to the next mission, which is not my goal. Yeah, that mission went fine, uh, not really worrying at all. I built it up as if it could be a big problem, but because I took that base before Phoenix arrived, no problem. It's really just being able to uh, rebuild those scarabs. Hey, it's not here. It must be after this. It must be after higher ground. Whoops, okay. Well, cinematic next time. <laughs> this has been Jay Barino. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.